Masturbation isn't a bad thing until it becomes an addiction. When I first discovered what masturbation is, I felt amazing but now, last night when I masturbated, I felt disgusted. It has become an addiction. I am not the only one who want to quit this addiction. Actually, there are a lot of people who are struggling and want to find a way to quit this habit and live life happily. There are some serious disadvantages of excessive masturbation people should know. The disadvantages that I am going to tell you are based on my personal experience and some research I did online. There is no solid proof available on the internet about how masturbation affects your overall health. Everyone on the internet is praising masturbation. They are tagging it as a healthy activity which sometimes pisses me off. I'm pretty sure. You'll relate to every disadvantage I mentioned below, so make sure to read the complete article to get the complete knowledge about how masturbation destroys us. 1. Low Energy Have you ever felt a burst of energy after masturbation? Maybe not, right? Most of us feel low after ejaculation. We just lay on the couch and watch Netflix the whole day. Masturbation makes you a sloth, but not many people understand this. That's because no big health website writes the reality about masturbation. They all try to hide its downside and they only show positives. I am a football player. I prefer not to masturbate before the game because I know if I do that, I'll sure perform poorly. It sucks your stamina and puts you in a state of temporary relaxation which keeps you away from harsh reality. You have to be energetic if you want to keep up with the world. There is no place for laziness. 2. Procrastination A masturbation addict always delays things. They find it very boring to invest their time in doing productive things. Instead, they focus their minds on playing video games because video games provide almost the same dopamine as masturbation. Procrastination might be the biggest reason why you're not successful. Stop masturbation and I am sure you'll see improvement in your work life. 3. Loss of Interest According to PsychologyToday.com, anhedonia is one of the main symptoms of major depressive disorder. It is the loss of interest in previously rewarding or enjoyable activities. People suffering from clinical depression lose interest in hobbies friends, work, and even food. It's as if the brain's pleasure circuits shut down or short out. You can ask anyone who is going through masturbation addiction. Most of the daily bangers lose their interest in doing things that normal people find interesting. I know how it feels after a relapse, and that is why I have created a program that'll help you quit porn and masturbation addiction. Check out Reboot Cure. 4. Using social media more. The combination of binge social media and excessive masturbation could be lethal. I noticed that social media becomes our best friend when we jerk off often. Social media are not too bad. But when we use them excessively and begin to give them more importance than it deserves, then problems start to occur. And it could hurt your productivity eyesight, and self-confidence. Quitting masturbation doesn't guarantee you that you'll stop using social media entirely, but surely you'll see some improvement. 5. Difficulty in understanding things. Our brains should be focused while learning anything new. People who masturbate excessively face difficulty while understanding new things. It makes their brain slower while understanding even the smallest or easiest things. I have worked my ass off to create this porn recovery program for you. Greater than REBOOT cure. 6. Difficulty in communicating with others. Do you also feel nervous while talking to new people? Well, you're not the only one. Most of the people who masturbate face hard times while communicating with others. They lack words and use fillers more. It makes their personality look worsen. Communication level can be elevated if you work on your self-confidence. But if you don't stop fapping daily, no self-improvement guide will work for you. 7. Poor time management. Addiction to masturbation leads to poor time management. We become so obsessed with masturbation that we put it on the top of our priorities. We spend hours masturbating, and it trashes the goals that we have set up for the day. Train your mind to not watch porn. Give yourself challenges to decline the time you spend on screen. Try your best to stay away from places where porn is easily accessible. Don't spend too much time alone. Use a motivational wallpaper on your phone and PC. 8. Feeling unwell. I used to feel like I have a fever all the time. Even though I didn't have any fever, I also used to catch cough and cold easily compared to anybody else in my family. My father used to think I have some kind of internal sickness, and he used to worry about my health. Now since I am on NOFAP, I hardly catch any seasonal flu. Now everything feels fresh and I feel healthy. But why we don't feel healthy after masturbation? I don't have a proper scientific answer, but I think that is because our semen and sperm are made up with important nutrition. And when we lose them, our body begins to produce it again. And that takes time. Until then, our body remains unprotected from unhealthy bacteria or viruses.
and that leads to cold, fever, flu, etc. 9. Depression. Depression is insanely dangerous for any human being. Excessive masturbation gives an invitation to depression because we all feel terrible after doing it. We all promise ourselves that we won't gonna masturbate again from tomorrow but we still do it, and that damages our confidence and develops depression. In 2017, when I was 18, I used to like a girl, she was in my college, and luckily I got the opportunity to be her friend. She invited me to her birthday party. I was excited. She was looking like a princess who came from heaven just to meet me. We enjoyed ourselves a lot at that party, but suddenly after one month, she stopped talking to me, and she blocked me from Instagram and Facebook. I was shocked. I wanted to know what happened. I tried many times to contact her, but I failed. Now it's been three years. I don't talk to her and I am still blocked. I don't even care about it now, but when I was in a relationship with masturbation addiction, I used to feel sad. I used to think about her and that used to make me feel really sad. 10. Feeling guilty. It happens with everyone. We all feel guilty like we have done a crime or sin. Feeling guilty makes you feel sad and it makes you depressed and it also decreases your self-motivation. Self-motivation is the most important. You should have a belief in yourself. If you don't have that, it would be nearly impossible for you to achieve something great in your lifetime. Hey, do porn and masturbation prevent you from becoming the best version of yourself? If yes, then please check out Reboot Cure once featured in The Guardian, Inc., Forbes, 11, Harms Relationship. There is compelling evidence that healthy relationships contribute to a long, healthy, and happy life. Masturbation replaces the physical connection with your partner, and it could negatively impact the relationship, says psychologist Rachel Needle. Psy D. Read more. Is semen retention healthy? <laughs> semen retention timeline. When to expect the benefits. Does NoFap increase penis size? <laughs> NoFap monk mode. This strategy is a cheat code for NoFap success. Six ridiculously easy proven NoFap strategies to drastically maintain a long streak. 12. Affects dopamine. Dopamine is like food for our brain. Our brain only likes to do those things that can give us the highest burst of dopamine. Dopamine is responsible for happiness and feeling of satisfaction. Masturbation gives our brain what it needs dopamine shot. The brain is designed to seek shortcuts. It doesn't like doing things that'll take years to complete. The brain finds it boring. And that is the reason why people struggle to be consistent. Masturbation doesn't take time to feed your brain with dopamine. And that is why our brain becomes addicted to things like masturbation, sex, porn, and other types of addiction. Masturbation is good and doesn't affect your dopamine until it is under control. But when it goes out of control, it affects your dopamine receptors badly and you lose interest, feel guilty, and feel unmotivated. 13. Yellowish eyes. Yellowish eyes look ugly. It shows you are not healthy or you are following a pretty bad diet. I have noticed that my eyes turn yellowish after a month of regular masturbation. Not only eyes, but it also impacted my hair, and my hair started to turn gray. 14. Impacts memory. Are you having difficulty remembering things? If yes, then it is a red signal. You have to stop it and you have to give your brain and body rest for some days. Having a bad memory won't be going to help you in your exams and other important things. Be smart. Either limit masturbation to once a week or remove it completely. Also, do not watch porn. It snatches your energy, confidence, time, and your smile. Again, be smart. Don't get fooled by big websites. They always going to favor masturbation. Share my work with your friends. It improves my site engagement. Comment if you have any questions. Then KS for watching. Discover how to finally put an end to your porn addiction.